I would like to ask you about three aspects on obesity. First, genetics. Second, the developmental aspect. And third, the environment. What is most important? It's not a matter of what's most important. It's a matter of what we can do. We can't change our genetics. Right. We, we're having great difficulty changing the environment because the environment has so many aspects in it, our cultural environment, our social environment, what we actually eat, the pressures we have us on us about what we eat. And the reality is we've actually done rather poorly, despite a lot of efforts in public health, to change the lifestyle. And that leads to the third dimension, and there may be others, like our gut microbiome, of development. Yeah. And development is the one area where I think there's increasing evidence that we can make a real difference. And so I think that if we, I think the issue in this obesity epidemic is what can we do to stop people becoming obese in the first place? And it's quite clear that obesity starts in childhood, it starts very early in life, and therefore if we're going to intervene, we need to think about what we can do in mothers, infants and children, which might change the path to uh, obesity. Clearly, as people get older, we have to think about what we can do to reduce the chances of people who have obesity getting the diseases associated with obesity, be it uh, what I call secondary prevention, keeping people from getting, going from overweight to being very obese, or dealing with the diseases of obesity itself. Uh, one more question on this development. What is more important, the fetal period or even the time before the fetus uh, is starting up to grow or the postnatal or can't we say? Well, there's different factors operative in each of those phases and all of those are subject to modulation. How easy they'll be to modulate in the real world is something that we don't fully know at this stage. But what is clear to me is the nutrition of the parents before conception, the nutrition of the mother during pregnancy, the nutrition of the mother during breastfeeding, the nutrition of the baby uh, before it's weaned and after it's weaned, all have a, a major part to play. Beyond that, there may also be what the child learns. And the way it learns, particularly in early years, it sets up uh, appetite, food preference, exercise and eating behaviours which become very difficult to change later in life. So you mean um, at the toddler's age most of it is done? I think our de biological destiny is set to a much greater extent than we've gen been willing to accept by what happens in early life. Now clearly it's not a linear process. What happens is what happens in early life changes your sensitivity to living in the obesogenic environment later in life. Some people are more sensitive, some are less sensitive. Genetic variation also contributes to those differences in sensitivity. But it will be easier to make those subtle changes in early life than the dramatic changes that need to be made and which have proved to be very difficult to do in adult life. That doesn't mean we shouldn't do both. It's just a matter we shouldn't just do, think that we fix it all once we are obese. We think, need to think That's about right. stopping people getting there. So uh, we can say the first thousand days are quite important. Well, it depends what you mean by the first thousand days. I think I when think the fetus starts strong, to grow until well, two it's years. Even before the fetus is conceived, okay. because I think there's evidence so. that what happens in the parent before conception influences the quality of the embryo okay. that forms. So, but, but I think what is clear is a healthy start to life makes it more likely that you'll be healthy, healthy. through life. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye.